Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Capricorn love prediction reading for April 24th through April 30th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns, my loving, loyal, stubborn Capricorns. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on, my Caps? What's going on, my Capricorns? Show me, spirit guides. Let's see, Caps, what you got going on. Show me. Let's see. Show me, spirit guides. Eight of Wands. Five of Swords. Ace of Wands. <laughs> The Hermit. And the Moon. Oh, Cap. Hmm. Well, Capricorn, you got this Eight of Wands is leading your reading. This Eight of Wands is... You're having a lot of conversation with someone about something, some, someone, someone that's just not been right. Someone that's, I, I, I see them that's just not on point. Someone, you keep having conversation with this somebody. This somebody that's been in your love space for quite some time. Um, let me tell you why they've been in your love space because you got the ace of wands in the middle of the reading. Um, I, I'm going to be very honest with you, Capricorn. I think you got shook. I do. I think you got shook. I think this someone has shaken you. When I say shaken you, they are someone that you have fallen in love with. But I'm going to be very honest with you. They're not the real deal. I don't think they've fallen in love with you. I think that you're just, you know, uh, you're a good time person with them. And you know what I'm saying, wink, wink. But here's this Ace of Wands that's in the middle of your reading. Because here's the deal with a Capricorn. Capricorns just don't lay with anybody. But you've laid with this person and you've fallen for them. You've fallen in love with them. But they're not falling in love with you. But here, this Eight of Wands means you're having conversation with them, letting them know. Because this Five of Swords is here. And this Five of Swords is all about, you're in your head about conflict. Uh, you miss them. Um, regret. Remorseful. And see, I think that you're pissed off because they got you. I think you're just shook because you don't understand how they got you. But if the loving was good, it was just good. And sometimes things happen. You get caught up. And I think you've gotten caught up. But you're upset with yourself about this because that's not normally what a Capricorn does. But it is what it is, Cap. We all do certain things that we look back on and say, doggone it. This was a teaching lesson for you. You um, This person showed you one thing, but they really were another because here's that. That uh, moon card is at the end of the reading. But here's the hermit card. The hermit card is you gaining wisdom and knowledge because you don't understand how you got shook. Capricorns don't get shook, you know. Capricorns, you know, walk away from stuff real quick when they see it's not like it's supposed to be. They walk away from things real quick. And here's this ace of wands. Ace of wands in the middle of your reading. This loving was on point. And I'm going to be very honest with you. And it was very hard because it, you didn't just fall for them. This was an evolving thing. This was evolved. But you truly missed out with this five of swords there. Not saying that you guys are together anymore. Because like I said, once the Capricorn figure out what you are and how you're going to treat them, they're not ones that take a long time. They might be um, getting away from you. Um, a Capricorn may be in their heart and their spirit. They might be hurting deep down. They might be can't sleep. Can't You'll never know it. Whomever you are, you will never know it. They'll always smile to your face, but let me tell you, this Ace of Wands is in the middle of the reading. This is someone that the, a Capricorn was just head over heels for, and they're beating themselves up because here's this Hermit card. Hermit card can't represent a Virgo person. Can't represent a Virgo person, but here's the deal. This Virgo, whoever this person is, this is an energy. 
An energy of trying to figure out what the flip did I do? What the flip did I do? You're trying to figure this thing out. You're looking at yourself because you don't see how you got caught up in this. But Capricorn, don't beat yourself up. If the, like I said, I'm going to say it again. If the loving was good, you might not have had any for some uh, ooh, oh, YouTube, excuse me. But you not might not have been intimate with someone for some time. And this person came in and you didn't get, you know, you didn't just give it up. This took some time. But guess what? There's that moon card. Yeah, there's that moon card. They're not for real, Capricorn. You just got, I mean, everybody gets shook sometimes, but they're not for real. Here's this moon card. This is illusion. They gave you illusion that they wanted to be with you and only you. But guess what? That wasn't true. But, you know, I almost see like they see you as a conquest. Someone that everybody wants, and when they got you, you know, wink, wink, you know what I'm saying, they felt like they had won. But that's okay because the loving still was good. But the thing is, is that I'm going to keep reading, but I'm going to, I'm going to bet you that this person has fallen for you as well. They have fallen for you. But see, here's the deal. You're not one to go back on anything. So let's see. If this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Please let me clarify the reading for you because I want to see exactly what the spirit guys are going to say about this person in this relationship. This eight of wands. Show me why the eight of wands is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the eight of wands here for Capricorns? Show me why the Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Capricorn? Just sit back, relax. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see additional information. Let's see. Why is this Eight of Wands here for my Capricorns? Oh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. You are in love. You have fallen in love. You are in love. That Ace of Cups is a agape love. Uh, unconditional love. You have, you have fallen in love with someone... I mean, and you, and I don't think you're beyond, I think you've told them that too, but I think what's really hurt you too is the fact that they didn't, I don't think they believed you, or I don't think they thought you were for real, or this just wasn't real. You began to see it, this relationship with this person for what it truly was. You began to see it because once you start voicing how you felt, it's almost like they pulled back. It's almost like they pulled back. But here's this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is an um, unconditional love, a forgiving love. So let's see why this Five of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, Seven of Swords, did I not say? Yeah, so they're not, <clears throat> they're a cheater. They hurt people. But remember, hurt people hurt people. There is something that's with them that is, makes them hurt people. Something that's within them, but they've hurt you. That's why there's five of swords is here. But what's ironic, even though they've hurt you and they've cheated with you and betrayed you with other people, you still miss them. You still miss them. And, and you know, you're human. You still miss them. And most importantly, you just miss the closeness, the intimacy, the love, and the goodness. You miss them. It's almost like you're willing to forgive them with this Ace of Cups here. You're willing to forgive them. But let's see. Show me, spirit guys. I almost think that they're going to show you they're behind again. Because they can't get right. So let's see why the Ace of Wands is here. Let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Why is this Ace of Wands here for my Capricorn? Oh, I have the Empress. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn. Are you with child? I'm just being honest. Are you with child? Hmm. The Empress card. The Empress can mean abundance. It also can mean that there is a child on the way. And the Ace of, over this Ace of Wands, I tend to believe that you are with child, that you do have a child by this person. I don't know if they know about it yet. But I don't know if you're even going to tell them because of the mere fact that you know that they betrayed you now. You know that they weren't the real deal. You thought they were the real deal. But let me tell you, I also think that you may have already told them with this Eight of Wands here, you may have already told them that you have a child, that you're pregnant. Because I do believe with this Ace of Wands and this Empress here, you are pregnant. You're pregnant. And I think you've told them. I really do. So let's see why the Hermit card is here. I don't think they were receptive to what you told them. I don't think they said what you wanted them to say. But let's see why the Hermit card is here. Show me. That's why this is a forgiving love for you.
Oh, I have the five of wands again. Nope. No, I have the five of swords here. I have the five of wands here. There's fights going on. There's conflict. This is a lot of conflict. You're looking within yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me with the hermit card. There's a dark night of the soul. You're just looking within yourself because you're trying to figure out how did I get in this position. Things happen. Ish happen. It happens, Capricorn. But you are pregnant with their child. Even though they betrayed you, you're willing to forgive them because this is the father of your child. But here's a hermit card here. Can't be a Virgo person. Can't be anyone. This is a general read. But here's that five of wands. There's conflict going on. There's fighting going on when it comes to this. So let's see why the moon card is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have the fool, which is a new beginning. A new beginning. Because you know why? With this moon card here, tell me lies. Tell me all they did was lie, 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 lie. All they did was lie. They, I mean, this is betrayal. This is lie. This person is not who you think they are. You want a new beginning, but without them. I really see you don't want a beginning. You don't want to be with them. I think you want to raise your child, and unfortunately, I hate to say that, and keep your child and do what you do. But with them, it's like, you know, you're done. It's, it's, it's a wrap. Because here's the eight of wands. You told this person. Yeah, you told them you were pregnant. I'm going to be very honest. This Eight of Wands is conversation about your pregnancy. Here's the Ace of Cups. This is, you were willing to forgive them because because they questioned you. But you know why they questioned you? Because they were doing some things with that Seven of Swords. They had betrayed you. And here's the Five of Swords here. This is conflict. You missed them, though. You missed them even though because you knew that you were pregnant. You told them you were pregnant and you really wanted to form a family. But here's the Ace of Wands. This was some good love, and I'm just saying it is what it is. And you became pregnant. But here's a Hermit card. The Hermit card can mean a Virgo person. can be a Virgo. can be anyone. But that Hermit card means you're looking inside yourself, looking inside your soul, trying to figure out what to do next. Because here's this person that wants to fight you. That Five of Wands, that's conflict. They don't, they don't get it. That's conflict. You don't want that around your child. No. You don't want that around your child. You're more than capable of having your child and unfortunately raising your child and hopefully someone else will come in and be the father. Now here's the moon card here because this joker, whoever you were with, this moon card, they're deceptive. They show you one thing, but they're really not what they are. But it doesn't matter because I see the fool card here. And that fool card to me, is me, to me means you're going to start over without them. You're going to be a great parent. You're going to be a great parent, and someone's going to come into your life to um, help you parent your child. So let me see. Show me. Oh, what do my oracles have to say? They say it's up to you and remain positive. This is your child. This is your time. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Cap.